Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 3. <clears throat> if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Alright, so. The Lord gives everyone a fair opportunity to come to know him and his gospel and partake of it. And to be redeemed of their burdens of sin, sorrow, and weakness through the atonement of Christ. He doesn't exclude everyone from it. He doesn't exclude anyone. But he knows that everyone is ready for that opportunity at a different time. And he does not offer opportunities before people are ready to take them. We cannot be afraid to embrace that which is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He went through much to atone for our sins, our sorrows, and our weaknesses that we wouldn't have to care about them or carry them we could turn them over and focus on doing good and being well in our lives so that we wouldn't have to just carry that pain and sorrow of being imperfect with us. I mean, we're still imperfect, but we have a chance to rise above it. We have a chance to become better. We have a chance to love and to live and to be loved the lord is very gracious and he wants all of us to partake of his grace so that we don't have to focus on how imperfect we are because life is too short to focus on how imperfect we are and if we only focus on the negative all we're going to see is negative things and all we're going to take out of life is that which is negative. But if we focus on the positive, even in dark times, we shall see positive and we shall have hope. But it's truly our choice whether or not we want to taste of the Lord's grace or not. But if we don't taste of the Lord's grace, well, then we're choosing not to make a decision and we'll become prisoners to apathy eventually. And Satan loves apathy. It makes it easier for him to grab children of God and shake them by their spirits. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.